Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so question of the day, I don't know if the patient was being serious or fake, was uh, Doc, I'm having shortness of breath and I have been using cocaine for a while. What's the effects on my body? So this actually served as a really good segue for a question. And uh, let's dive in and entertain you guys and uh, figure out what the effects of cocaine is on the body. So <clears throat> the big things are neurological effects and the other one is cardiovascular effects. But uh, let's, uh, let's, let's tackle it and uh, let's do it in the most simplest form. So <clears throat> explain shortness of breath. So the patient was actually having breathing difficulties. He had and uh, a lot of it was from chronic cocaine use. When we did an x-ray of his chest, his heart was very dilated. So that can give you signs of what is called congestive heart failure, or there's some structural integrity to the heart that's impacted and it can't pump adequately. So a normal heart usually uh, pumps uh, fluid through the body, it circulates, it accepts the blood from the body and recirculates it around. If you have any dysfunction in that, you can have shortness of breath, you can have fluid that develops into your lungs, and you can also have fluid that backflows and develops and pools in your lower legs. And you get really swollen uh, edematous uh, edema, which is water retention to the lower legs. So he was found to have what is called congestive heart failure. In addition, because cocaine is a stimulant, it drives up the heart rate and makes it go really fast. So when he arrived, he was in a fast rhythm called atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is basically a really irregular electrical activity of the heart. Uh, and instead of the heart beating, but um, but um, but um, it goes but um, but dum, but dum, but dum, but dum, but dum. So think of it as a dumb drummer. He can't keep beat. And that also causes cardiac dysfunction in the heart. So you can have disturbances in the heart, especially the electrical activity. You can also have congestive heart failure because you're blowing out the muscle because of overwork from this chronic stimulant. And the big thing that we also see is heart attacks. The blood pressure shoots up, uh, the heart overworks. And if you have any kind of underlying cardiac issue, it puts the heart under a lot of strain, consumes a lot of oxygen, and you get a heart attack. So let's focus on the second uh, big category is the neurological effects. So the big thing is headaches. So if your blood pressure is shooting up in the, in the 200s, when normally your blood pressure is 120, it's going to put a lot of exertional pressure on your head, causing headaches. And you could see that a lot of headache pressure can cause vision issues. And worst case scenario, it can cause a stroke. It could cause bleeding in the brain, and uh, the outcome of that could be permanent damage, hopefully reversible if we lower the blood pressure in time. But you can also have seizures. You can have epilepsy. So a lot of neurological big things uh, can happen with that stimulant. And this is also for like other things that are stimulants, uh, like pseudoephedrine. I know there's a lot of kids out there that are abusing these inhalant decongestants and uh, getting high off these things. Um, but pseudoephedrine is a stimulant. Ephedrine, which is the stimulant that was back in the days in like 2011 or so, uh, hydroxycut. These are weight loss kind of uh, medications. They took ephedra out of that. And uh, another stimulant would be fenfen. Back in the days, fenfen in the early 90s caused cardiac vascular issues caused a, a lot of women to have heart attacks because it's a stimulant to make you lose weight. So another big thing is the gastrointestinal issues. What kind of big effect do you have on the gut? So a lot of people, when they have a lot of that cocaine use, they have abdominal pain and nausea. And again, it's a stimulant. It causes constriction of your gut vessels. And then essentially it can impact blood flow to the gut. Specifically, if you were to eat something, the blood flow would need to go to the gut so that you can digest the meal. But if you have any underlying vascular issue or blood flow issue, uh, you're going to have oxygen uh, deprivation, low oxygen states, and indirectly uh, uh, gut issues. So the big things are neurological, some GI issues, cardiovascular issues, uh, and um, 
don't do cocaine. If you have heart issues, you will have a heart attack. Once again, thanks for joining me with the blog. I hope I can educate you with a little five minute segments uh, and follow along, click subscribe, hit a button like, mash it up, and uh, I'll make some more content on a, a routine basis. Thanks guys, bye.